couple uh, shows, I have been wearing this fantastic rose headband. Can you zoom in there, love? No. You're just gonna have to. Okay, that's okay. And then my sweetest friend made me this headband. Whoa, look at this one. For my 50th birthday. And this is wild. This is very wild. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. See, so headbands can be made of all different sizes. So my supplies today are really, really simple. I have this sparkly headband or a polka dotted headband. I also, while I was cleaning up, have a wider plastic style headband. And then I have a little thinner headband. So it all depends. I, I like to try it on, see how the headband feels on me before I start decorating it. Plus, oh my goodness, today is April 1st, April Fool's Day, but it's the beginning of Red Hat Society's birthday month. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Wishing all the fabulous Red Hatters out there a wonderful, wonderful birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Now remember ladies, you can wear purple in your hair and red on your body all month long to celebrate Red Hat Society's birthday month. Okay, so now let's see, I have this headband. I have this headband. Well, that one's comfortable. And then I have this headband. Oh, this one's a big one. Ooh, oh, I don't know. I could get a lot on here. I think I'm going to go with the larger one today because I have a lot to decorate. Plus some of the other tools, tools, goodies we have. I have this uh, rhinestone band that is just a sticky still, you know, it's all sticky. I got this at uh, Michael's in the stationery section. I also have some cute little flowers with rhinestones on them with little red leaves for accents. I have some jewels that uh, I had a broken necklace and some clear um, crystal little uh, gems here. I have roses. It's Judy's birthday month this month. Yo, yes, happy birthday, Judy. The freaking frat girl. I love it. Happy, happy birthday. That's right. And then, of course, a whole bin of roses. Oh, my goodness. I'm a little rose crazy. I have some tooling. I keep everything. I'm pretty organized. You can see all my bins around me. Uh, I have... This is actually a candle ring. Can you see my candle ring? This works great too. You could just um, snip this off and, and use whatever you need. We have feathers, all about the feathers. And a uh, plus here. I have sparkly tool. It's like a little a, a netting. It has a little bit bigger holes than traditional. And this has got a little sparkle on it. If you want to add some accents, we'll be doing some of that. And then I have some red tooling. This has circles. It's a little bit more stiff, so it's easier to work with because traditional regular tooling has smaller circles. It's thinner. It is a little bit more delicate, which, which is nice. But sometimes you want something a little bit more uh, bold and coarser so you can uh, decorate it with it more, get more volume. All right, and I know you're dying to know. You're, you're dying to know what I'm wearing. <laughs> well, I did something fun. I have this hair clip that we sell at Royal Splendor. And I took one set off, one flower off. So that it wouldn't be really, really huge, but you can't even see it because I wrapped my hair up and I did this cute little clip. And that is our purple lace flower clip for $4.99. I have on 
different beads. I just love pearls. I love pearls and the little wire pearl earrings. I just love these. And these are the Zenith. That's with a Z, like zebra. The Zenith for $18.99 for that set. And because it's the birthday month and I wanted to be all blingy, I have my Alexa Clear Classic shirt starting at $26.99. So ladies, that's my fashion show. So let's get started with the fun. Okay, I've, I've chosen this. Now I'm gonna cover the whole thing. So we don't even have to worry the fact that there isn't in any uh, material on this one. Now I love this. I truly do love this, but I already have one. So I'm gonna make one that's gonna be more wild and fun like this. Peggy Sue, that's who made this for me, Peggy Sue. So did everybody say where they're from? And how many of you love crafts? Hello, Joyce. Thanks for jumping on. And Marilyn, hello from Tucson. Yay! So I'm going to pick my roses. Now, you can get roses anywhere from any store. I, uh, these roses, oh, these roses actually come off um, silk bouquets. I had purchased from a a wholesaler, tons of roses, and they came on these really long stems and these really long boxes. It was hysterical. It took us days to pluck them all off. Hi, Rhonda. Nice to have you on. And Joanne and Miss Karen from Colorado. I hear you had like 70 degree weather today and tomorrow it may snow. Ah. Oh, good. Thank you, ladies, for asking me. Oh, and this cute little bracelet. This is from Tutu. Tutu, I'm wearing this thinking of you to, to channel in your creative spirit. Oh, we have somebody from Western Australia. Oh, I didn't catch the name. Oh, 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 let's go back down and look. Oh, uh, Carmel Shepherd. Hello. Nice to meet you. We have a town in Monterey, California, in Monterey County, Car uh, Carmel, Carmel, and I love that. Oh my gosh, and there's Judy and Della from Colorado. Hey, Della. All right. I'm just digging in here and finding out, finding my fabulous roses. Ooh, I love this rose. You know why I love this rose? Look at the center of that rose. It's a perfect bud. Do you see that? So I'm going to show you a little trick. Now, you know when you're popping around and and you've made something like decorated a hat and all of a sudden you notice it has fallen off. It's really important that you prep your flower correctly so it doesn't fall off. So today I am going to take this back off. I'm going to snip the little green. Oh, do we need to get closer, Sweet Pea? Oh, I hate to use my good scissors. I forgot to bring my bad scissors. Ooh. Okay, these are material scissors. I'm so sorry for all my sewers who are at me now. I'm like, no, don't use those. I know, I forgot my other scissors. They're in the drawer. So I'm going to snip that green stem and leaves just a little. Oh, I'm gonna do it. And I always do it kind of at an angle so that you um, can place it nicely. I don't do a flat. I've always done it on an angle. Then what you need to do, the trick is in between the stem and the material, you want to put a couple little dabs of hot glue right in there like this. Do your circle because your circle cuts off the string and then squish it together like this and just hold it for a few seconds and let it dry. Now that is a great way to keep your flowers from falling off the stem. A couple other tools I have. A pair of material scissors, not one I would recommend. Hey lovey, can you go get me the junk scissors? That's to cut my tool. I have a popsicle stick because you don't want to touch hot glue cuts because it hurts. 
I have a glass of water, so if you burn yourself, you can stick your finger in the water really fast and it will help. Some pliers. And that's about it. No trash can tonight. Everything's just going to go on the floor. Okay, so I love this one. All right, so now I know I'm going to have to have quite a few roses. Oh, here's another one that has a perfect center. I'm really in love with this. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do is here's, I am going to take this one apart because I like to use the inside of the rose, just the baby bud. Oh, so I'm just going to open it up and pluck those leaves out. And there you have, ah, that's precious. This will make a beautiful accent to the headband. And I think it's a little more tricky because the, David left here, uh, we don't really have like a hearty stem to glue the glue to the leaf, but you don't want it to fall apart. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue Oh, this one. Mm -hmm. Just dab some glue around. You don't have to do the whole thing, just a little, so that it's attached. That's it. You're never, you're not even going to see that. So I want to make sure I hide that. I'm going to keep the stem long for right now until it dries. Oh, much different than my cooking show, huh, ladies? Hello, Cheryl and Barbara. Hi, Mom. Miss Sandra, nice to see you. Oh, looking awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, as I pull my shirt down. Love the flowers. Hello. Hello. And where is my cutie pie who sent me, um, who sent me a photo. She has all her crafts going. It's so cute, but she actually had a foam head. My foam heads are packed, so we are not using a foam head. So now I know I'm going to set roses on here. I'm going to make a few more buds, little buds. Okay, so now I'm digging through here. See, I have another bud here. And remember, never throw anything away because you can use all these scraps for little accent pieces. Ooh, I have some more of those. But you just want to make sure they're the right color. But it's okay if they're not. It can, it's good. It gives a little bit of contrast. Ooh, 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 that's a good bud. Ooh, that's a good bud here. I may have to keep that one out. Just trying to see if I have any more buds. Sometimes they fall in the bottom. Oh, I see one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, 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 come here, baby. Ooh, another one. Okay. That'll work perfectly. All right, so I've got three buds going on. I've got all my flowers. So now I'm going to snip and glue. I think we'll go open a, a pop up one, one of my buds. Okay. But wiser. Yeah, you don't drink when I know. you're talking about <laughs> silly dilly. Boop. Okay. Now, the glue gun I'm using is a heavy duty. Um, it has a up, a high, a lower. Uh, temperature. It has multiple different ed ends that come off. Uh, let's see here. It's made by ooh, Aleens. A-L-E-E-N-E-S. I got this at the craft store decades ago. And actually they were so amazing, the customer service. My last one kind of started to burn a little bit, just like this one. Oh, that's the smell. And they were so, they were so kind. I, I mailed it to them and they mailed me a brand new one. So, okay. Does everybody understand how to glue that? If you've been on the cruise with us, you have done this craft of learning how to secure your roses. So ladies, if you, when you get together with your chapters soon, I know it's going to be very soon. There we go. I love when I kind of put the little <laughs> Judy said Beverly Hills iced tea. There you go. There you go. Okay. Let's do another one. Ooh, I forgot 
such a trash bag. That's all right, Julie. Judy, we understood. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. All right, then. The other things I have that can go on this headband is, which is fun as I'm thinking about it, I have elastic sequins. You, if I was doing a smaller one, that would be fun. You could just put that glue it on and there you, you can just add a flower or two on the side and then you have a headband. These are things I've just had around. Uh, this is like my fun junk drawer. I always use little pearls, little red pearls. I also have silver pearls. And these I, oh my gosh, these are probably 20 years old, maybe 18 years old. I went to a store and they had them strings and strings and then I just bought everything I could find. They were really, really inexpensive and I thought I'll never find these again. And you're right, I never have. Okay, let's see. They come on these crazy strings. Ah, just made a mess. Okay, stop talking and start gluing, girly girl. Alrighty. Oh, you know what I was gonna make? I was gonna make a a jar with a few quarters in because I hear <laughs> that sometimes I say silly words when I'm cooking and I should put a quarter in the jar. I'd be a millionaire by now, Tutu. She says I say silly words. But that's okay. Today is easy. Crafting I can do all day long. Oh, and Sue Nicholson. She's so cute. Does everybody know Miss Sue? Daughter of the year. She uh, called and told me what the different measuring cups were for. So I did not know you had dry measuring cups and wet measuring cups. Ha ha. I'm learning. I'm learning. It's all good. It's not my mother's fault. I promise. I promise, promise. My mom is an amazing mom. She raised three kiddos as a single parent after my pup, my dad died. And she is an amazing cook. I just never really took any interest. I was always at the beach. Right, mom? Okay. All righty. So there, I have secured some roses to start. Hello, and Cheryl, hello. Oh, Rita from Youngsville, Louisiana. Aww. And Denise and Leanne from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Uh, Linda Johnston. And, oh, Judy, she's so cute. And Kay, all oh, right, we're starting. We're making headbands, ladies. Oh, okay, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna start, oops, I have to trim the bottom just a little. Oh. Okay, I am going to use... Donna from headquarters is popping in to say hello. Hello, Donna. Hello, hello from Red Hat Society. Hat, hat, headquarters, happy birthday. Lynette Edder wants to know what you are doing. Lynette. I am going to cut some of my small ro flowers because I'm going to start, maybe, these are wire cutters, right? Oh, this is funny. I put my glasses on. Oops. Hey guys, I need to get new glasses. I need to get new glasses. All right, I'm just going to trim these up trim these because I need, I want to get Okay, maybe I need new wire cutters. These are brand new. All right, let's use the strong scissors. Oh, so much easier. Look at these scissors. These are massive. Okay, but I did think of something. I did think of something. Yes, I did. I'm going to do a little bling too. Because here I thought I was going to fill the whole headband, but I've decided, see this is just the long strip, I've decided below, like just right here, I'm going to trim it and 
because I'm not going to start my flowers till about right here because then when you have it on you see you have the bling so I think that's my plan of attack okay. there is sticky so that the sticky definitely will help so I'm going to measure now because it's wide I'm going to have to put an extra piece here I'm going to measure here I'm going to measure once cut twice aha and I'm going to take the sticky back off would you say this is what one inch no half an inch oh ha, ha. crafting is so much fun it is one inch by 12 inches okay so I'm pretty good all right oh my nose always gets itchy guys not funny allergies so I started on one side and I'm just gonna press because it's a really good sticky I'll trim that in a few minutes and then I'm going to just trim one small line to go to go on that other section and I don't have to make it very long Do Oh, sweetness, sweetness. Judy said, measure twice, cut once. Exactly. Kind of like measuring in a measuring cup. <laughs> so remember, nice and sticky. I just attach it where I want it to start. It's just going to be right there. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. And I didn't even try. Okay, and I can do a little trim. I'm going to let this it stay on there. I need one more teeny weeny little piece. How many of you save everything? Do you have bins and bins and bins of fun goodies for crafting? We, as you know, we're moving. So we've been cleaning out everything. And it's so much fun what you find. Oh, I love it. Okay. All right. So I have you know, feel really good about this and I will trim that extra in a few minutes. I'm going to let it just stick and you're not going to see the top part because that's where the, uh, the roses are going to start. So I'm going to put I may start with three of these babies because I love the little rhinestone centers. And so I'm going to take three. I like to work in odd numbers. So that's three. Then I have the, the leaf. And I'm going to twist. I'm going to twist. And I'm going to put another leaf in here. I'll have to glue that to make it a little nicer. So that's going to be going to be my start. And I'm just going to put that. I'm going to glue the leaf down because I want a nice clean area. Right about here. That's where I'm going to start. So when you start, that's what you see. Dun, dun. Okay, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. If we don't like it, it's okay. We can always take it apart. So I have my glue gun on the hottest temperature. Okay, it's doing, it's doing well. I'm going to put the start my leaf and I'm going to put my leaf a little bit of an angle because that's more fun. And I'm going to put, I decided really fast to put a second leaf. And you don't need a lot of glue. You don't need a lot of glue. And I just keep doing circles so I don't have any strings. Oh. And remember ladies, you can use anything you have. Anything you have. Now I'm going to add my little trio babies. So they're gonna start. I'm gonna put a little more glue on that area so that um, they 
sit well. Now I'm not going to worry about, let's see here, there we go. I'm not going to be worrying about the ends because I will finish them off. I'll finish that off later when I'm all done. Oh, okay, I touched hot glue. Don't do that, please. It's very, very hot. Dang, dang. It's okay if you're late. We're making a headband. Ooh, wow, look at all the fabulous comments. Okay, so here we go. Mary Jo, you didn't miss much. Lynette, how is your headband coming? Oh, right. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's really cute. Okay, so let's start with our biggest rose. So I'm kind of picky. I'm going to pick my rose. And I'm just going to start gluing one rose on one side, one rose on the other. And I'm, we're going in. We're going in. I'm going in. Woo! Yes, I'm using lots of glue and it is hot. It is smoking. Can you see the smoke? It is smoking. I keep looking at it. I think this is the last time I'm using that glue gun. Okay. Start it off. I'm going to go in a direction that way. Ah, there we go. Now I have this gap, but that's okay, because guess what I'm going to put in that little gap? I have this crap. I'm going to put one of those babies, oh, my favorite, right in the center there. It's going to be amazing. Okay, so I'm reviewing my placement. I like my placement. And now we're going to start. Now remember, this little guy is going to go right in here, but it's always the last. I always do my last acts for accents. Okay, I did not cut enough. I'm going to put a little more glue inside that one. This is my dining room. <laughs> You've recognized my dining room table before. Okay. Another one. Whoa. Good positioning. There we go. And there's that. Rose, and don't worry, you get any of those funky little glue strings, you can just take them off. Okay, it's looking gorgeous, isn't it? Now the next one. Oh, here, here they are. I'm going to start on this side. Oh, yes, excellent job. Yes, I am not doing well with the strings tonight. That's all right. And there. So I'm doing two by two and two right next to each other. With a little bling. With a little bling. Now someone mentioned you possibly could get the bling at the dollar store. Yes, yes, Donna. This is a glue this is the glue stick. These are industrial. These are not the glue sticks you get at the craft store. No, no, no. This is an industrial glue. That's why it's not clear. It's kind of got a um, a smoky. They're 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 amazing. I have <laughs> I found this glue company. I would say 18 years ago. I bought a few cases through the years. The last case I am still working on. It's like rubber cement. Okay. What did you guys do today? Anything exciting? We are open. Royal Splendor is open. Auntie Judy is working part-time. David and I are working part-time. And uh, we're still sending out email blasts. So thank you everyone for your support. We love you. That's so kind of you. I'm so glad we could be together tonight. Oh, all right. And I... I have another one here. Now this stem is a little bit long. I'm just going to trim it a tad. I don't want to trim it too much because this is a wide band, especially as we get to the top here. I have some more done. Ah, see these are ones I used and then I think I took off and we can reuse again. Okay, it has a little junk in there. No one will see. 
try to pull that off. Okay. Perfect. So now I have some more. We're going to do, now we're going to cover this. So, how's it look so far? I'm looking at my... I'm looking at myself. <laughs> How's it look so far? How about some thumbs up, ladies? <laughs> Does it look good? Look okay? <laughs> oh, Mary Jo, she brought her angel outfit from Roller Little Spender yesterday. Yes. Oh, Denise, you have curfew, curfew. Uh, quarantine curfew. 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 Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you, everyone, for the love. Lots of loves back. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh, Karen Miller. In yes, I do, Karen. We did a craft um project at the Colorado Red Hat Rendezvous when we used to do conventions when we lived in Colorado. We did what nine of those, didn't we, ladies? And we had a craft class and we bought these little black um glue guns from the dollar store. And we're gluing away next thing you know, poof, poof, they were exploding. Oh, that was so funny. I do remember that. Oh, no. Oh, no, I say. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Okay, Mom, if, if your sound is off, maybe you touch something on your screen. I think everyone can hear me. I can test that out. So, they just poof. You cannot... It, you, you cannot buy glue guns um, and use them. I'm sorry from there it doesn't work very well but that well, that was funny oh okay i can hear great perfect so here we go hello sandra miller uh i miss you guys too in colorado i know i know i know we need to do something see my see my sweetie pies there okay let's keep building let's keep building roses Are you excited? How many people wear headbands? Who still wears headbands? And you know what's nice about this? You can have short hair, long hair, thin hair. Headbands are perfect. Now I know some queens want you to wear a hat. I get it, I get it. Um, but if you have some flexibility, a headband works perfect. Oh. I am loving this. Okay, I'm giving this one away. I want to keep it. I'm loving it so much. <laughs> You're going to be here. Everybody who's watching. Hello, Miss Opal. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so here we go. Mary Jo, you wear headbands all the time. Awesome. Okay, I'm going to do some more. Ah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking I need a bud here. Let's see here. I'm thinking we're going to do some buds. I think I'm going to do one more here. Nope. I play. Now, now I'm just going to play. I'm going to start playing. But I want to do something elegant here. E, e, e. Nope, no, I'm only doing one side. I keep telling myself one side. I really like a full side. I definitely want a full side. Okay. So let's let's do some more trimming remember and don't trim really close kind of trim over here i was getting a little too short okay so that's a perfect little bottom thank you for the loves oh thank you for the loves hey cool we have 47 people watching that's so awesome so awesome okay You're gonna win a prize if you. How many times I say okay? But my silly word jar is very, very empty tonight. I'm not saying those silly words, Tutu. Everybody know who uh, Tutu is? That is Linda Theret. She was the first Red Hatter of the year, and her Red Hat name on Facebook is Tutu. How many of you lovely ladies played bingo with Miss Christine the other day on Kathyville? If you're looking for a 
online Facebook group that has lots of fun going on all the time, please join us on the CAFT, C-A-F, as in Frank, T-Y-V-I-L-L-E, and we do a ton. Well, Miss Christine and Miss Tutu are doing a lot right now. The other girls, we're helping. Whoop. So bingo was absolutely hysterical. I think it should go in the uh, Guinness World Records of fun. Lots of fun. And we are all about power fun. Yeah. Perfect. So I think I'm, I'm, I'm only needing two. So let's count. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight roses, some baby little prettiness going on. So that wasn't too bad. Eight, that's easy. Eight is easy. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay. Come back and check on me every once in a while. Mm -hmm. All right. Two. So it's getting smaller here. Ooh. Okay, this is, that's maximum right there. That is max. I couldn't put another two because then it will be really heavy on that side. So now I have this little bit. Hang in there. It looks like we paused for a minute. Oop. Kathy Wood played. Yay, Kathy. Oh, did I pause? That just means all the neighbors are home on online. I know, I know, I know. Okay. David. Yes. I have paused. Does anybody see me? It says you're live. Am I live? Oh, that is so funny. My iPad, my, iP my iPad has frozen. Sorry, guys. But my little phone is working. Okay, perfect. Sorry, honey, you can't leave me. I'll stay here. The minute David left, we went kaboots. Okay, now let's use these, the baby, the little, little, little guys. I think I'm going to insert, <laughs> I don't know, it kind of sticks out, kind of funny. Oh, I'm so excited to use them. Yeah, I'll just do it on an angle there. Nope, that's not going to look good on my hat. I don't want some rose sticking out like this. <laughs> that's okay. Because guess what? I am going to use our petals. What about putting petals really nicely down the edge? That will look really, really cool. Oh, thanks guys for letting me know I'm live. That was kind of just, you know, peekaboo. That was just strange. That happens. So we could do, oh yes, yes, I'm loving this idea. We could just do petals. The petals would look gorgeous. What do you think? Thumbs up for petals? Thumbs up for petals. Loving petals. Okay, so when you're um, now we have to cut them really nicely because we're gonna lay them on top. And I really want to look at what side of the petals is is good to use. You have this one. They have little ridges with little um, kind of veins. I like them a little bit darker vein. And these particular noses are smooth on one side and a little bit fuzzy on this side. So I'm gonna have the fuzz side up because that feels really nice. And it gives it some dimension. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Opal. Oh, now, ladies, I will catch up with prizes. I do apologize. I've been staying home a lot like I'm supposed to. So we're allowed to go to our store to get mail and do some things, but I don't stay there very long. 
Where did I get the roses? That is a great question. It's kind of a funny story. I ordered silk roses from a company um, oh, quite a few years ago and they came in these really, really big, long boxes. And so they are silk. Um, they are gorgeous. I'll check to see if I can get more of them and then I can share that with you. If not, you can get roses. Um, something I learned, the dollar store has great flowers, don't get me wrong, but for one dollar for a bush of flowers, you can go to your craft store, especially if they're on sale, and get twice as much for less money. So you really have to count how many flowers per bush or per stem thingy majingy because I found that spending more money in flowers at the dollar store because I'd only get like four or five, maybe four. And then when I went to um, one of the craft shops, they have uh, flowers almost quite identical, um, Michael's. And if you got it on sale, you were getting more flowers. So really look at that. I mean, I'm nothing wrong with the dollar store. Tr trust me. I love that place. But, but do, do check your craft prices because I've noticed that we could do, we can do a little better if we just watch for sales. Okay. So now put a teeny weeny incy fincy yellow polka dot bikini amount of glue on the on the very end. <laughs> yes, Joanne's exactly. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna start the petals. So I have teeny weeny little polka dot and bikini going on here, I wish. Okay, see just teeny weeny and we're gonna layer. Okay, that's going to look nice. That's going to look really great because then we can put stuff on top of it if we want to. Maybe some bling. Oh, we have some glue going on. Oh, and I'm just going to keep layering down so you can't see, you know, my glue. Yes, Barbara, good suggestion, a gar garland. Oh, a long garland. Oh yeah, especially after Christmas too. All those great, great garlands. I love garlands for greenery. So if you want to get some fabulous uh, greenery for your crafts, garlands work great because you can get so many leaves and all different types. Type. <laughs> a style of leaves. Ah. Oh, so um, Greta. Hi, Greta. Thanks for watching. Hi, Ida. Greta's daughter works at the Dollar Tree and they're considered grocery store and staying open. Yes, they're essential because they do sell groceries. I learned that today. Okay, this one's kind of cute. Both sides, both ends are adorable. So this is the end. And we are just slowly layering. And I'm kind of doing it at an angle. Okay, this is going to be my last full petal because I'm going to make the next petal a little smaller so it fits in the area a little better. I don't want to look like I have, you know, a rose garden growing <laughs> off the side of my head, but that's okay too. Isn't there a song? What's the song, ladies? I never promised you a rose garden. Do, do, do. I'm not a great singer, but I do love to sing. I, I think I sing. I sing in the shower. Who sings in the shower? I sing in the shower. What's that song? And who's that? Who's that song by? Oh, okay, here I'm going to do. Oh, one more I like. Rose garden. So So we're live. We're live, Mary. Joe, we're not we're not uh this is not whoo, oh, this is not recorded. This is a live show. Can't you tell? We're being silly. Okay, so now I'm just adding like crazy. 
And I just have this teeny weeny little insy bitty time to use one of my babies. I need. Uh, okay, maybe. Oh, maybe. Look, I could do it like this and then add. Somebody asked, how did I get it so full? Great question. I'm not sure who that is. Oh, Connie. Hey, Connie, welcome. I'm using a large headband. So I'm putting two roses a little bit at an angle, um, and that's how it's so full. And we, we took a count, and there isn't that many roses here. So it's a perfect craft. Okay, this one has been trimmed to the very bottom. I'm going to trim some of this off without losing, <laughs> oops, without losing the stability of it. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put glue like this on the edge. And then I am going to let that dry and I am going to have to vacuum tonight. Woohoo! Okay, I trimmed that. Now I'm going to put this cap back on. I don't want my rose hot. Hot mama! I don't want my rose to fall apart. Okay, so now I have the cap back on. It looks good, don't you think, everyone? I think that's going to be divine. And I have. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. See, see where I placed it? I'm going to place it right there and then I'm going to do another one down here. Yes. So excited. So excited. When you're crafting, it's so important just to be flexible. Just go with the flow because you never know what you're going to create. And I'm not really that creative. My mother would say I am, but I'm not. I was the kid that took the you know, the toaster part and then put it back together. But that had nothing to do with crafting. If it was broken, I'd just take it apart. Sometimes I couldn't put it together. Oopsie. Ah. Oh, I'm loving that. Okay, so that's what I did there. Lynn Anderson, you're right, Opal. Lynn Anderson sung the original song. Oh, Marie Osborne, Paper Roses. I love that. I love that. Oh, and Mary Jo released in 1970. I was born. I was just a couple weeks old. I lied. A couple years old. Loretta Lynn. I wish you guys could sing it. Everybody sing that song. Do never was a rose garden. Okay, now I'm going to put another one now that that's dry. But... Okay, I have this one. Is that the same? Now this one has a little bit of a different end. It's quite long. So we're gonna trim that little guy up. Take the cap out. It has some old glue, so we'll clean that up. Whoop. Thank you, everyone. I love the hearts. I love the smiley faces. No mad faces. No mad faces. <laughs> okay, I am just cutting, cutting, and cutting this old glue off. But I'm going to use this side as going to be the glue, so it's going to be good. No one will see it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you know smiley faces, hearts, thumbs up help our algorithms with Facebook? So the more smiley faces, thumbs up, comments, that means that Facebook will share our video across the world. I love that idea. We are an international sisterhood, you know, the Red Hat Society. Okay, here's a good quiz. How many years is this birthday? So who's gonna guess it right? Oh, thank you, look at all those hearts, honey. <laughs> that makes me happy, that's so fun. This is such great therapy for me. It's been a tough week. And a tough, tough week. Oh, hot. Thank you, ladies. I love it. I love it. Oh. Okay, so we're celebrating. David, what are we celebrating? How many years? 
22, are you sure, Donna? Donna would know. <laughs> Donna. <laughs> are you sure, Donna? I think he would know, though. <laughs> 22. Oh, goodness. 22, that is just amazing. We're so lucky. We're so lucky to have everyone. Especially times like this, you really count your blessings. You count your roses. Thank you, everyone. Oh, and you, the giggle faces. That's so cute. Okay, now, concentrate, Nancy. I'm going to put this little guy right here. Oh, this is looking awesome. Whoever wins this, you're going to be so, so excited. I am so excited to make this for you. Hello, Carmen Rubin. Oh, hello, Miss Christine. Glad you were going to catch back on. Catch back, catch, catch on. Okay, so there you go. What do you think about my the baby roses there? I thought so, so perfect. I think that's perfect. And kind of cheats, you know, by putting the petals. It looks like it's a big rose, but it really isn't. Well, we know. We know the secret. Now I have that teeny, this little, little area here. How about some gems? A big gem. Let's see here. Oh, pick me, pick me. Okay, so I'm going to have to cover it just a tad. So I'm going to use a smaller petal. The good scissors. All right, let's, I'm trying to do the natural curvature of the petal. Dang, that actually came out pretty good. All right, I think that's pretty good. Woohoo! Yellow Roses of Texas. I love it. Oh, Kiki says me. Oh, I like your name. That's so cool. So I want, to, I'm going to put a look, just this little, little thing on that little, little area because then the gem has something um, to hold, to glue on well. It says plastic and gems, unless you're using like E6000, they just pop off with hot glue. It doesn't really work that well. But we don't have time for E6000 to set. So we're going to do this. Okay, so that's how I finished off the edge. Just that one little petal. So let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten large roses, two, two of the center, the buds. Now remember, I'm going to put a little bud here. So now let's search. Now this one's kind of big. That's kind of big. My birthday is Sunday. I'll play the birthday card. I love that. Yes. Oh my gosh. Sunday is already going to be. Before I know it, I'm late to the game here. Okay, I'm looking for the perfect bud. Oops, I don't know where I got this. Now remember, I have all these too. I can also make a bud. So let's maybe make a bud because I want it to be extra special. So I'm just going to gather. I'm going to make a small bud. So I'm going to take this little center piece here. Let me see. Mm, didn't do the trick. Not my vision. Oh, I think I see a good one. I think I see a good one. See, you can't prepare for a class like this. I can't. Because my mind's going a million miles an hour. Kind of like when I'm cooking for you. <laughs> I'm trying to remember how to do things. Hey, I know how to cut butter now. <gasps> oh, look at these roses. These roses I was talking about. This one I got uh, probably at Michael's or something because they're in a really nice holder. Okay, so this is actually a baby rose. We are going to use this baby rose. I'm, I'm, I'm reviewing the option. Nope, don't like it. Oh, this is what happens. I get so picky. Hey, oh, there it is. There it is. 
Okay, here it is. I found it. Now this is actually a baby rose. And we're really going to have to trim. Yes, happy birthday. Excellent, excellent opal. Thank you. Happy birthday to all the April adorable red hatters that are joining us. Okay. <laughs> Let's hold that. We could sing for you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Red Hat birthday girls. Happy birthday to you. Do 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 do. Some pop. Uh, yes. There you go. Great. See, look at you're getting all those hugs. Oh. Christine's birthday is on Saturday. Opal's is the 21st. Do we have any more birthday girls? Sheila, is it your birthday this Make a comment if it's your birthday. Barbara May is the 24th. Excellent. Happy birthday, ladies. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. I'm sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. I'm looking at all your comments. Oh, Denise is on the 18th. Honey, look at all the birthday girls we've got. I remember our first uh, Red Hat event. No, I don't like that one either. It was, if you remember it, it was at the Gaylord in Grapevine, Texas. Yes, our very first official, we, we had the company called Celebrate the Holidays. And we were with... And then we also, um, yes, so, uh, Celebrate the And we did Holidays. Grasshoppers. Uh, that wasn't until... No, that was later. That was later, yes, for the grasshopper shoes. We did that at... Um, Las Vegas. At Oklahoma. Did Oklahoma? That was Las Vegas. Vegas, okay. Oh, oh my gosh. Key, uh, Kiki's on the 17th. Sheila, Sheila, it's your birthday today. Woo! Yes! I love it. Okay. Oh, we'll come back on. She just got kicked off. The internet is so crazy now with everybody um, shelter in place. I'm thinking about you guys. I love you. Okay, so now I have found, after all that time, I'm picky. The perfect rose for our hole right there. Okay. All right, and let's put this, excellent. Connie was at the grapevine. Yeah, that was my, um, that was at a Gaylord, that was at a Gaylord, right? Gaylord. That was my first Gaylord. One of the, that was their new, brand new Gaylord. Oh my gosh, we'd have to ask Donna how many years ago. Okay, here we go. I think that came out really, really well. Is that too close to the monitor? So now we're going to trim the edges here. I'm going to use my good long scissors here. And it didn't really take that long. I mean, I did talk a lot. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna trim it a little bit. Not too much, but just so it's not so square. Hmm. 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 Welcome, Marty and Kay. Welcome. We've been making a headband. Oh, Joyce, you went to uh, Gaylord, Texas on Mother's Day one year. Oh, how nice. How nice. So can you guys tell yet that the weather's changing? I can tell, it is beautiful today. Hello Charlotte, welcome. So I don't know if the tapering of the rhinestones was a good idea because I can't get my scissor in to cut it. Maybe I have to wear a small, uh, wear. <laughs> I'm not definitely. Okay, Christine wants to say, I think we should play a contest to win the headband. Here's the question. What 
Exact time of the day was Christine Lozenek born. Oh my goodness. Well, that will create a ton of fun. Christine, you're so funny. But you see, we don't know if the answer's right because she could just say her answer is right. Christine, text me the answer. Okay, sorry, lady. Let me get let me get going here. See, I don't talk to anybody all day. Okay, I'm almost done. There we go, ladies. All right. Now, I'm not loving that. I think we have to go to plan B, but it's okay. We'll cover that up. Okay, so now let's clean up the mess because now we get to play with gems, jewels, and pearls. Joanne Polk, 3 p.m. Labor started. Born about 5.36. You guys crack me up. I love it. Okay, so now I'm going to get uh, flat, the flat back rot stones that I have here. Oops. There we go. And make a teeny weeny little dot right here just to add some bling. So remember, when you are doing fun crafts, drinking all sorts of different beverages is helpful. Someone saying, Sheila said, just drank a margarita from El Paso. Pretty strong. Not, you, not used to drinking. Happy birthday to me. Well, happy birthday, girl. So there, I just added a little rhinestone right there. And now I am going to, because we have that funky little thing going on, so a rhinestone is an excellent idea. Uh, I cut something too long. Okay, so we were doing a big stone here. So I have this magnificent per, uh, teardrop. I'm going to put that teardrop right here. I don't know if you can see. Okay. You guys are so sweet to hang out with me. I love it. Oh, ah. get a little bit of glue. Okay. Let's make sure I like, I like this one better. And we're going to add it right there. It's there and I love it. It's just a little bit of class right there. I mean, it's not in your face, but if someone were to look really carefully, they'd see it. See, I think that's really sweet. Okay, looking beautiful. Now, Hmm, I'm thinking, now we need to do some fun stuff here. If I was really patient, which I am a lot. Sweet Pea, can you please bring me a bag for the garbage? I have, oh, it sounds like he's cooking dinner. I don't think he heard me. I had, I could do these little stones, these little stones, and glue them all over. That's one thing. But I want to do some tooling. Okay, ladies. Do we want to add any purple? Okay. Someone's going to win this. So do you want any purple on here? Any purple feathers? Any tooling? So purple teardrop. I wish I had one. I didn't, love bug. I don't have a purple teardrop. I wish I wish. That came from a broken necklace. <laughs> Thanks, babe. So I don't have any purple teardrop, but I have purple tooling. Oh, she can't post her picture. That's okay. I have, um, <laughs> Joanne Polk, if Chris doesn't labor as long as, um, bingo, for a four and a half hour bingo, that's actually a pretty fast labor, isn't it, ladies? Okay, so 
For those who are responding, yes, let's add up some purple feathers. Okay, good idea. But you want to make sure you kind of clean up your mess because you don't want to get your feathers in the way. Ooh, sparkly. I'm digging. Whoa, we could use some of these. Look at this. Yes. I gotta have this on there. We've got red flowers. Oh my god, I'm so funny. Tool. We have tool coming up. Now these are wonderful. We sell these at the store. Oh, I love these. Oh, that's a great bag. Look at these. Look at these gorgeous feathers. They're called cokes. C O U Q E, I think. Ah, oh, dynamite. Okay, now let's get some purple tooling out. See the tool, the purple tooling is very, very, very thin, which is good. It just adds a nice accent. You can put tool in your the back. Make yourself a bow. Okay, I'm concentrating. Sometimes when I concentrate, my little tongue hangs out. So let me know. <laughs> what else do I have here? Oh, we have these. These are good. Welcome, welcome. Yes, we have been making this headband. Now I do want to use some of this glitter, glittery tool. Okay, so now I'm gonna make some room. Okay, you're gonna get your good scissors. Which ones are you? The really good ones. And I'm just going to Wow, did you see that? That was amazing. This are, these are really good scissors. Wow, that was amazing. Okay, so it's not even, and that's all right. I'm going to cut, I'm gonna fold. First I'm gonna fold, one, two, three. So what I'm gonna do is cut some squares, somewhat squares, kind of like my butter square, just, just little like this. So I'm cutting these little pieces and overlap them. Two, three, one, two, three. And I'm just overlapping them no particular way. And then I'm going to grab the center of them and look, I've made a poof. I've made a little poof. Okay, because then you can put the poof in the hat. <gasps> now you may want to make your poof a little bigger because that's a very little poof, but it's okay. I'm going to use it on the side because I have a boo-boo. So you put your glue on the edge of your poof. That is the <laughs> scientific name, poof. And now this is perfect because Hide your boo-boos. Ah, itchy nose, sorry. Ah. Take the edge of your clean popsicle stick. Oh, my nose. I know, don't touch my face. I failed immensely. And exactly, Sheila, I'm going to put it all over the place. Put them in the center. See, now I hid my little boo-boo. Okay, so now let's make some more of our, sorry guys, I have an itchy nose. Whenever there's a food cooking, so now I'm going to make these a little bit larger. And it's just scraps. This is actually a piece of scrap. This was, this has went to something some time ago. So one, two, three. We'll do another little poof. Key is making sure you get enough glue so that they don't fall out. I have made a delightful mess tonight. I'm very proud of myself. Okay, 
You guys having fun? I'm having so much fun with you. Woo, that's hot. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it in the center of the rose. Maybe. Oh, it's dripping. There we go. And it's perfect. Now it's not a real long one. Ah, sorry. There we go. See, just a little touch. Just a little touch. <laughs> oh, how many wants to kiss you? Is that what it means when my nose is itchy? Okay. Oh, I think it means something's going on. All right. Yes, we'll do some beads too. So I'm going to do a few more poofs. You guys cracked me up. Let me just be here. Go away. <laughs> I'll be washing my hands. I'm not going to wash my hands right now because I don't want to. Now, I don't know where I got this tool, but I'm going to be on the hunt for some more. This I'm loving. I'm loving this. Okay. Now this is a longer poof. Hi, Carol. Welcome. Oh, no. Kimberly's decoration fell off her lamp. Girlfriend, put your glue gun on and... Oh, no. Glue gun and a lamp. Probably not a great idea. Oh, did you guys see that? That hotness. Just, oh, my gosh. Thank God it landed there, not on my fingers. Okay, we're gonna do some tooling there. And remember, you don't have to be perfect. That's what I love about this. I like this. I like lots of great stuff, but not too tacky. Um, okay, three. Now I'm going to make this one a little bit taller. Oh, thanks, Sheila. She says she enjoys watching. Oh, thank you, hon. Hi, Diane. Welcome, welcome. Now, whoa. Okay, we've got this going on. What are you making, love? It smells good. Rice pudding. Oh, he's making rice pudding. Oh, it smells like steak. Ooh, there we go. That's a nice poof. A uh, popsicle stick. Where'd you go? Okay, well, popsicle stick disappeared. It's okay. Oh, let's put, oh, let's put some of these decadent flowers, feathers, flowers. Okay, I'm going to use purple and red. And remember, I like odd numbers. You like even and I like odd. So that's three, four, five. Five. So that's one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now these are a little long, but I'm going to measure. See. Okay, we don't want to stick them too long because if I have to mail this. So I am going to trim it just a little. Yes, perfect. And then that was. Look, guys, I've used so much glue already. So then I'm just going to dab some glue in a circle. Just go around and around and around and around like that. And be careful because you don't want this to drip. And then I am going to put it in the center of a flower. No freezing. Okay, so then I think, oh, that's kind of high. It's sticking up really high. Do we like that? No. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I may have to regroup. I think that's too high. So I'm going to pluck that baby out. <laughs> just pluck that out. Okay, let's try it again. So I'm going to trim it just a little more. Ah, Kimberly said she always had rice pudding at the holidays when she was growing up. There's a lot of rice pudding going on in this house. Memories. Yeah, let's try again. Oh, you little brat, get in there. 
Okay. All right. So this is good. And then I sometimes I push the bottom of the flower. Okay, that's good. All right, ladies. Then the other thing. Let's see. We do. I have a lot of rhinestones. We have beads. No, I have more beads in here somewhere. Okay. I guess I'm opening. Sure. Sure. Okay, we're gonna uh, open some beads. Shorter. You think shorter is still a little tall, isn't it? That's right, I'll fix it. Ooh. Where's the end? The end. I love this stuff. I don't have the right mat, but I'll try to work it on here. Oh, he just went upstairs, so I don't want to call him. Call him back. You guys are all going to make um, rice pudding tomorrow. Okay, you got to post your rice pudding photos on the Royal Splendor Facebook page. Yes, yes, yes. Where did the end go? There's the end. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. So I'm going to cut about that length. And I'm going to do, they're going to be in threes. One a little shorter, one short. So that's one grouping, two grouping. I'm just trimming. Because what we're going to do is make cute little tails of threes. Oops. I just found out that you could use artificial vanilla. I didn't know they had artificial vanilla. But remember the other day I was cooking, I didn't have vanilla. Okay. So now, this is going to be easy. So we're going to do that. Sorry, guys. The light went a little crazy. So we're going to do that. And normally I have a plastic mat down and I don't. So we are going to try it. That should be fine. So take a big blob of glue. David asked me, do you want your mat? I'm like, nah, I don't need it. I don't know what I was thinking. And then um, your popsicle stick. And squish them together. And get the glue all over the edge. So it looks like this. I do. And blow on it to dry. And that is going to be your. gonna wrap it like this so the idea is to wrap it kind of it's kind of messy but then it dangles that okay see when you don't have your supplies you just make it up oh uh, Kimberly's frozen sorry babe it's, it's your area we're, we're doing good okay now we're gonna add some dingleberries see I call these dingleberries Ooh, that's gonna be fun add some dingleberries And you, want, and you know what the great thing is? The petals will hide the glue. So this is perfect. Ah, all right. So did anybody get the right delivery time for Miss Christine? I don't know. So now we have dingleberries. <laughs> dingleberries. <laughs> now I'm going to do a couple more because you can put them uh, throughout the headband. Oh, 
was a little challenging there. I didn't have my circle, so I'm just going to do it the same way, because otherwise I'll burn myself. A nice glob of glue. Oh my god, I'm getting it everywhere. Dip them in, twirl. Make a mess. Make a mess. Yes, I love that face. All right. It's magic. It's magic. Okay, I'm just going to use this. I'm just using something to wrap it around. Make a flat surface. Okay, let's put some more. I have the perfect spot. So we're just going to put this right here and then we are done with beads. We don't want to overdo it with beads. We don't want it to be beady. But you can do whatever you like, which is great. Okay, so now you have beads on the side of your headband, and you have feathers. I don't know if I like those feathers. Those feathers are not doing anything for me. Hi, Lynn! Thanks for your hopping on. Okay, so I've just taken the feathers off. So I'm going to do some more tool. This is beautiful! Oh, I'm so excited. Four forty-five p.m. Oh, who knows? I don't know. What she didn't say, but I have a different game. She maybe got bounced off because she doesn't have the best internet. So let's gather the tool so we cut it straight. There we go. And one amazing cut. Love these scissors. They're fishers. And here I was cutting that stem with them. Oh my God, shame on me, shame on me. Okay, we're rolling. And I'll finish this tonight before I mail it out. Not too close to your lips when you blow. Yes. Ha, ah, you got your fingers stuck, Sheila. Oh no, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay. All right, I'm doing it the bulk way. Okay, let's do this, ladies. Let's get it done. One, two, three. There you go. Yes. More glue. Ah. Oh, that's not good. It's not good glue. Much better. Clean stick. Oh, don't need it yet. Do you know what that reminds me, Sheila? When I have um, crazy glue on your fingers, yes, and then your fingers stick like this. Oh, it's so silly. Especially when you're trying to glue rhinestones. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Okay, another poof. That's a good one. Very excited. So what do you guys have for dinner tonight? I know some of you, this is very late. So thank you for staying on. I really appreciate it. Hey, oh, watch it drop. No. Okay, here we go. We are, we are doing it. Okay, I'm going to choose another section. And I'm going to put it right here. That's a cute little hole in it. There you go. There it is. Aww. Right there. Okay, and then we've got one more here. One, two, three. Oh, this is going to be a big one. Let's use this smaller one. Okay. Now we've got another poof. Perfect. Hello, Gloria. Welcome, welcome, Gloria. Ah, Lynn is, Linda is an amazing cook. Lynn's a great cook. She did pork loin, Brussels sprouts, and quana. I don't know if I said that right. 
I want some. I guess I'm having bread pudding for or something that David made. Okay. Put some over here. Ah, this is gorgeous. Yeah, but I haven't eaten yet either. I came home. I put some makeup on for you. Okay, one more. All right. You all have been such great sports. I love doing this. Next week, Wednesday, we're going to do um, another show. I'd like to do another cooking show, but I don't want to burn you out because cooking shows are so much fun. But then I eat it all. Oh my God, the lemon squares were so good. This one's got a little long. So good. I shared. Oh, homemade pizza. Yummy. Oh, Connie made pork chops, fried potatoes, spinach, and peanut butter cookies. Okay, now I'm really getting hungry. Another Linda uh, Dickerson veggie soup. That's good. I love that. It is kind of a pork chop kind of night, isn't it? Bless you. Okay, so. Perfect spot. All right. How's it looking? Everybody liking it? I'm loving it. Loving it. And just play with it. Okay, one more tooling. And remember, if you didn't like the, the feathers, take the feathers off. Yes, no, I'm not going for the record. Four hours? It's been, um, I don't know. Oh, no, where'd you go? There you are. Oh, one hour, 29 minutes. Holy torpedoes. Okay. Thanks. Oreos and milk? Kimberly, you're my kind of girl. You had Oreos and milk for dinner. I love it. I love it. Oh. Mexican food. Oh, I love Mexican food. Oh, we used to have this amazing, um, mom, do you remember? Avocado tree. And when I was little, I've always been an entrepreneur. I, my mother got this big cutter with, had this big blade on the end and a little basket and this long pole. And I'm short, I'm not real tall. And I go like this and oh, and then boom this massive avocado and I I think I've told this story before and I used to put them in the brown paper bags and I'd weigh it on the scale because you know everybody the scale and I'd write the number on the end of the uh, uh, outside and I would call the owner of the Mexican restaurant in Hawaii Kai at the marina and he bought my avocados 25 cents a pound I wish they were 25 cents a pound now and then we would go and deliver them and then he would feed us all. He didn't, he was amazing. I don't remember his name, dang it. But anyways, it was great Mexican food. Um, I know, funny, right? Mexican food in Hawaii. Okay, my last one, and I think I'm going to put it right here. I don't wanna mess up my baby my babies but i'm look i'm i'm feeling it right here right here okay my last one let's squish it in there the nice thing if i don't like it i can always take it out all right so we have i'm not loving this one side i'm going to fix that before i nail it up we have ourselves a headband let me take this up somewhere How's it look? Mm -hmm. And you're wondering who is going to be the winner. I don't know. So guess what? I think I'll make you wait till tomorrow. No, I won't do that. That's not very nice of me. Okay. Looks good. And you know what? I didn't even put any, I have so many rhinestones here and feathers and I just, I don't know. I just don't think it needs much more. I do feel like I could do one more thing. Thank you for the compliments. You guys are so sweet. Do you think it needs some of these? Oh wait, I know, I have them in a bag. Ah, I'm ready to go. 
got me, I got loads. Hold on, let me see. I just think everything is too long. I'm kind of a simple girl. One, two, three. So here's, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Let's see here. Thank you, Sue, for loving it. I mean, does it need something like that? Hi, Miss Joanna. Yay, there's my girlfriend from Hawaii. Aloha. So, I don't know, do you guys like the little, no, yeah, no, I don't think so. Yeah, it just <laughs> looks like a spider, spider legs. Yeah, no, I don't like it. No, I think I'm good. I think what I need to do is maybe just add some rhinestones. Okay, let me just add a few more rhinestones. I gotta feel the love. Sorry, my hair all went goofy. And now I need, what it? Just add a little, now be very careful when you do that. One teeny weeny little insy bikini. Ah, that's what it needs. Can you see that now? That's what it needs. It needs like a little rhinestone. Let me turn this light on. Oh, oh, did I miss it? Oh, okay, so here. I put a little rhinestone right there. You see that? Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> okay, so I think add some stones. These stones are just way too heavy. They're just too heavy. So I got a box of these massive, like, oh, look how many come in a huge bag. Takes me a year. So I don't do crafts as much as I used to. You would think I have more time now. Boop. Okay, there we go. So I am going to just, oh, whoever wins this, you're so lucky you're gonna get, I'm gonna stone this baby up. Run stone baby, it's all different sizes. All clear though, we're gonna use all clear. Wow, I have nails right now, this is good. Because without nails, this would be bad. Okay. Oh look, here's one hanging. Uh, that's pretty small. That could be dangerous. Let's see if you will just do that. Okay. I'm concentrating. Awesome. Not a lot. No, no, no. We don't want to. We don't want to do too much. But just a few. See, here we go. See, just a few to add. Yeah, I think that this one's a little too big. I'm gonna take that one off. That's way too big. I know, I'm saying it's too big. And my red hat name is Her Majesty of Bling. I know I can't help myself. That came off spectacular. Oh, I get a ding. Hello, Jackie. Okay, oh, 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 perfect size. Maybe. Come here, baby. Come to mama. Okay, hold it with the nails. Okay, listen. Perfect. I know, I know, I know. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I promise I won't do any more to it. Let me just cover that where that one is. Ah, there we go. Yep, I like that better. Good night, Sheila. Happy birthday. Okay, ladies, we are ready to give this away. I am so excited. This is going to be your gift. And the winner. Here we go. Oh no, I need some love. I need some hearts. Where's the hearts? Yes, a few more hearts.
she wasn't online tonight. Oh no, but that's okay. Lois is a winner. So next week, Wednesday, I'm going to do a live, but it's going to be early because I have a meeting Wednesday night. So, but that's okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Wishing you all a beautiful evening. I hope you enjoyed the craft. So what we have our bling side, we have our roses, and we have had a lot of fun. I wish I had a mirror. I wish, I wish I had a mirror. Ooh. Let's see. Ooh. It's looking all right. Woohoo! This is great. <sighs> Thanks for making my evening so wonderful. Love you and support you. If you need anything, call Royal Splendor. If you're bored, give us a call. All right, lads. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Aloha. <laughs>